everyone. Happy October, new month, new goals, right? Well, my name is Joanna and you're watching Dolphins Today coming to you from the Baptist Health Studios here in Miami Gardens. Sunday at 1 p.m., we face off against the Indianapolis Colts. We'll chat with our very own Travis Winfield about the game. But first, let's take a look at some of our guys putting down the football and picking up a paintbrush and a spray paint can. You don't want to miss this. Check it out. I'm Jalen Phillips, and as you can see, we're out here spray painting this beautiful mural. Yeah, it's my first time really getting out here and painting, so it's something new to me, learning. It's kind of fun, though. Yeah, well, let's just say I'm a better football player than I am a painter, but uh, we're having a great time out here. Getting to know kids from around here and just the culture, just getting you know inside the community is always good. But, you know, it's a gorgeous mural to put up here, so you know, hopefully the fans will love it, too. I for sure can't wait to see that Pollo Tropical mural before entering the Hard Rock Stadium. It's looking pretty good, fellas. All right, speaking of the game on Sunday, we'll be celebrating the life of Miami Dolphins legendary coach Don Shula. Coach Shula had such a monumental impact, not just on the Dolphins, but the entire community. And no one knows that better than Miami Dolphins alumni OJ McDuffie. OJ, can you speak to the life and legacy of coach? Mr. Don Shula, the greatest football coach in professional football history. I want to start off by saying thank you. Thank you for that incredible phone call in April of 1993. The only phone call I got from the greatest coach in NFL history. Come on, man. You know, not only was I coming to Miami after that phone call, I was playing with Dan Marino and I was playing for the great Don Shula. What you mean to me, what you mean to the Miami Dolphin organization, and what you mean to the city of Miami is immeasurable. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Baltimore, for the greatest trade in football history when you got brought the great Don Shula down here to be a Miami Dolphin. Truly just such an amazing man. Don't forget to watch or listen to the Fish Tank podcast. New episodes drop every Tuesday on your favorite streaming service and on WFOR every Saturday night at 7.30. Now let's switch gears to Sunday. We have a big game coming up, especially coming off the game in Vegas. Travis, what would you say we can expect to see? Well, first off, you talk about Don Shula, the celebration of life on Saturday. All that alumni base is going to be in the building on Sunday as well at Hard Rock Stadium with one of the best alumni groups in the entire National Football League. People stay in this area. They're loyal to their Dolphins, and that includes our alumni as well. As for the game itself, try to build off some of the positives we had late in the game offensively and the stretches of dominance the defense had throughout periods of that game, early on with the pick six, obviously, the fourth down stop, and then some stops later on as well. But the production of the passing game we saw in the fourth quarter and overtime with Jacoby Brissett going to Devontae Parker, Jalen Waddell, Mike Gesicki, hopefully they can continue that success from the fourth quarter and overtime in the passing game and carry it over to Sunday against the Colts. I agree. I think we need to keep that same energy of what we saw in that fourth quarter, the Absolutely. last game. So what would you say are the key matchups for this game? Well, going to the other side of the football, the Colts offense, their top target eater is a receiver, but their number two, three, and four guys that have the most targets on the team are tight ends and running backs. And so I look at the matchup there, possibly with the Dolphins defense and particularly the safety position. We saw four safeties play a lot of reps in that game with Javon Holland, Jason McCourty, Brandon Jones, and Eric Rowe. How can those guys kind of neutralize the Colts passing game and running game through those tight ends and running backs? That's the matchup I'm looking for on this Sunday. So the Colts are going to be trying to grab their first win of the season. So how do we stop them? Yeah, you talk about a team that's kind of looking for their first victory, and they're a little bit banged up right now, a lot of injuries in that roster. But they do have one of the deepest rosters in the National Football League and one of the best coaching staffs, too. Frank Reich has won a bunch of games there for the Colts, and they love to play a physical brand of football as well. So they're going to be coming in hungry, looking for a win, and next man up mentality there in Indianapolis certainly going to be on display. But also... You cannot let Jonathan Taylor get cranking because that running back can pile up yards and touchdowns in a hurry. So looking for this Colts team to come out hungry. Hopefully Miami can match their intensity. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Travis. Good to know. We'll be watching on Sunday and hope you will be too. So we'll see you right back here on Tuesday. Until then, go Dolphins.